okay hello again on the next video I would like to demonstrate on running some programs on using CUDA toolkit so I'm so on this uh, environment I'm installing CUDA toolkit from the advanced packaging tool or the software or the, from the package manager so uh, the convenient the convenience about this is you don't need to set up the environment so I'm going to use my sample programs which is on my github which is on my programming practice repository here I have a CUDA directory which has some CUDA codes that I can test with Okay, I have cloned my own repository. Oh, sorry, not this one. So, on CUDA, so let's uh, test our. Let's test this uh, NVIDIA CUDA compiler on this code set I've written. So, on C, I've made the code about uh, matrix addition which actually I just took from the website and I modified myself which is to multiply which is to add A and B into C with the number of around 100,000 array or more than 100,000 array I've explained this is the code written in uh, C and this is the code written in CUDA C I've explained a great detail in the previous video so I will not be explaining much here but I will just give a demonstration so this one is written in C this one is written in um the manual uh the manual the manual coding of uh CUDA where I have to transfer the variable from the CPU to the GPU and vice versa in the end. So let's quickly step on with the same size let's quickly step on compiling this code Okay, this one runs for 833 milliseconds when well, and the time that I'm recording is only the the adding process the which the pro which the which the process that can be paralyzed this one Okay, next is to let's try compiling and running the code that is written uh, using CUDA.
okay there are some warnings but I'll just leave that aside for now and let's run okay so this one it runs for 18 milliseconds in GPU so compared to using the CPU it is uh, 100 times faster so next let's try on Python oh no mm, let's try on Octave next on Octave and R Okay, so while waiting to install, let's close this one. Oh, for, forgot about that. Let's before going to uh, fight to R and Octave. Let's test on C plus plus. So here's the here is the code for the same adding a factor x y into a y okay but it's almost the same thing as adding two uh, two variables with uh, with the number of array of one million elements this code is written in CPU and this code is written in CUDA this one is written in CUDA and manually I have to send the CPS to send the CPU variable to the GPU variable and I have to return the GPU variable to the CPU variable <coughs> and so let's switch Okay, this one took 0 0.003 seconds and for CPU and for GPU it took 0 0.0005 seconds around 100 times faster and that's it for the C++ next let's try Octave So I have downloaded. Uh, I have I followed a tutorial in the a tutorial on Nvidia website, which is running Octave using CUDA, and I found these codes. This is the Octave code to run. I forgot the name of this program, but uh, you you can find it yourself. I will run on this and after that this one is to run the program on CPU and next I need to prepare to run the program on CPU you need to make a uh, NV plus 
node configuration first you need to put the library you need to find the your open blast library look uh, file location here I'll probably use a locate command If it doesn't work, then use the find command. Find normally if you want to search all the directories, this one, but fortunately, I know it should be around the user directory. Okay, so it's located on. So is you're not to find the GPU uh, and VBlast. So the VBlast is here, but it for but for this one is asking you for the CPU um, blast location. So it's this one. rest should be it and these are some commands that you can use you can, and you can add more if you know some more which is to list all the GPU available and okay now to run now to run the this sgemm.m file using nvidia for octave you need to run need to preload the NV blast So as you can see, um, using the CPU, it, it runs for 9 seconds, while using uh, the GPU, it runs for 5 seconds, and this one is 6 seconds, this one is 2, I don't know what these are, but the number of data you can get is, uh, these are maybe some points or something, I don't know. Is this one is 344 while well you can get more on the GPU which is a 994 so it's clearly that using the GPU is a better than using the CPU okay so after that let's um, next is to test then the next demonstration I want to demonstrate on R so here is the R package uh, so this is a uh, for example of to to some uh, this much elements the sum this much additional elements in CPU and the other ones in GPU but first you need to install the library for me I to to see the to for the timer I use the R benchmark library
okay it's downloaded but before we proceed let me install a G matrix which is so which is one of the library to run our programs in GPU and this one is to run matrix kind of codes like array so you can perform uh, you can form a calc uh, computation on the GPU instead of the CPU unfortunately the G matrix is not available for this version of R so let's go to the main website this one this one and okay okay so this one is not defined since I'm using the new version of Nvidia toolkit I need to use uh, this command okay so looks like it will take some time so it's compiling Okay, while waiting, let's go ahead using R. Then I need to load. I need to load the R benchmark package. to generate uh, this much uh, elements okay so it looks like it's finished now I can load the G matrix so I'm using a GeForce GTX 1080 and using Kublas and okay so first let's try running the code in okay before that let's input this and now let's run the program in CPU first this is the CPU and this is the GPU hmm. looks like not much difference 
maybe they need something something more needs to be done but at least uh, it works maybe you add uh, more elements or do some even more complicated calculation you can see some significant improvement but leave we, let's leave that aside for now and let's move to the last demonstration on fighting so here I have the same vector red uh, vector red uh, script which was back then written in C and C++ this one I've written in Python I forgot whether I took this code from the internet or I made this myself but anyway let's continue Okay, I need to install a NumPy and then running this okay so the new numpy doesn't have x range so i need to delete this and it should be range okay it's running and then left, while waiting let's try running this in number okay this one took seven seconds so this is the code that is written in GP in CUDA so I so I transform the Python program here to be able to compile and run in on the NVIDIA GPU using the number package and I need the OS package and this is using some sort of factorize and I, my target is CUDA and here I need to set the I need to load some files libraries and I think this one is correct see it's here it's a uh, correct place and need a lip device and it seems to be on the correct place too so I can just run this program with no problem but I remember that I haven't installed the number yet
Okay, it's taking some time. Let me pause for a while. Okay, let's give it a try. So, okay, looks like the one on the the number on the what do you call it on the events package in tool on the or on the package manager only supports CUDA toolkit 7.5 while our CUDA toolkit is a higher version which is 9.0 so I don't think I'll be using this one I'm going to delete this and I will use the one on pip Okay, so I'm done installing pip. Let me install number on pip. I mean using pip. Okay. Now I'm going to run this program. Okay, so here it is. While using the CPU, it took Now let's try to run on PyCuda. So, so running on CPU took 9 seconds while running on the GPU took 0 0.4 seconds which is so much uh, faster. So next let's try using on PyCuda. So it this PyCuda code is totally different from the one on using the number or the original using NumPy. So it's only using NumPy. So this one uh, I searched on the internet and made the the script myself. Or maybe I found some script on the internet. But other way, uh, what's important is to demonstrate it. Okay, I don't have a PyCuda, so I need to install a PyCuda. Okay, so this one worked and it took 0 0.5 seconds on PyCuda. On number it took 0 0.4 seconds and on the CPU it took 8.9 seconds. And that's it. That is the end for the demonstration on this video. So thank you.